Darius Baisley sealing the victory with a dunk. Afterwards, Russ explained himself saying, quote, how I play the game, I'm more old school. And when bleep like that happens, I don't let it slide. So, Shannon, did you have a problem with Westbrook's reaction? I did. I don't, I don't like these unwritten rules. Mm -hmm. Where is it at in the rule book that says if there's five seconds on the clock and we're up by five points, I steal the ball, I can't dunk it. I'm supposed to run out the clock. Now, let me get this straight. Russell Westbrook got upset with the last 10 seconds and two points. But when they had a 26-point lead and the lead got down to 18, the lead got down to 12, the lead got down to four, the lead got down to we're tied, he didn't have a problem with that. Mm. He didn't raise hell. He mm. didn't say don't do that. Mm. But it was only after you caught the L. Yep. What it was, he was upset that they blew the lead and this dude did that. Yes, yes. It happened to me just like the same thing. We played the AFC Championship game in three, old three-room stadium. Uh, Jason Gilder, I think it was Earl Holmes, but we didn't want to fight. I said, you had 60 minutes to fight. Get your ass off the field. We're about to celebrate. Don't get mad now. You had 60 minutes to get mad. Don't get mad now, Russ. You had 47 minutes he and 50 did. seconds to do something about him scoring two points. Yep. You mad about two points? Mm -hmm. What about the 26 mm. that y'all gave up? I ain't seen nobody. Don't do that. Don't. Ain't nobody want to shove. Ain't nobody walk up on nobody. Mm -hmm. Now. They done got the win. They celebrating. If I was Bayless, I say, man, get bleep up out of my face. You ain't going to do nothing. You mm. should have did something earlier when you had a 26-point lead, mm. when you was jumping up with Malik Monk dunk, and he was on the sideline, huh? and when he was doing what he was doing, he was hood. Bayless said, don't do that. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. Bayless ain't do that. But now you want to get upset because I got me a cheap, too. What about all them cheap assists you done got during the triple-double? All them cheap rebounds. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody saying anything, Russ. Don't do that. Nope. Don't do that, Russ. Man, miss me with that. I, mm -hmm. I'm sick of all these unwritten rules. Mm. Play for 48 minutes. Play for 60 minutes. You don't want me to hit a home run? If I'm up by 10, don't throw a strike. Because if you throw a strike, I'm swinging. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try to take it out of the park. And I'm going to look at you. It's your fault. You shouldn't have threw a strike down the middle of the plate. And if you want to flip the bat? Yeah, I'm going to flip, flip the it. bat. And you beam me, guess what? I'm a photo bat and hit you inside your head. <laughs> Man, they not, Skip, I'm sick of these. Uh, they, ain't no, they ain't no rule. Mm. What happened? We play hard for 48 minutes. Oh, so now, Skip, we play hard for 40, 47 minutes and 50 seconds. That's when we play hard. Man, they need to miss me with all these rules. No. Just so, like when, uh, uh, Skip, 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 one more mm -hmm. thing, Skip. Just like with uh, the Ravens. They ran it. Victory formation and Vic Fangio. Stop them! Mm. Why are you mad about that? Because they needed five more yards yeah. to go over 100. Well, you should have been mad about uh, Lamar throwing for 316. Mm -hmm. You didn't get mad about that? Nope. Mm. <sighs> okay. I am very with you on I had absolutely no problem with this dunk because it was a nip-tuck game in which they were down 26. Yeah. If you told me that the Oklahoma City Thunder were up 30 at the end of the game, and Baisley stole the ball at right. court with two seconds left. Maybe he'd want to just dribble out the clock if it was a rout, if it was a complete embarrassment of the Los Angeles Lakers. Right. But the Lakers had three chances to tie the game Thank in you. the last 26 seconds. So all he was doing was stealing the inbounds pass from Rondo, another turnover by the Lakers, another bad idea. Well, he doesn't even have time to even think twice about it. He's excited. The Lakers are about to, uh, I'm sorry, the Thunder are about to upset uh, the correct. Lakers who are picked the prohibitive favorite to win the Western Conference. Right. And they're 0-4. And they're about to have a 1 in the victory column. And he's just ecstatic. And he just thunder dunks it. Yeah. Okay? Well, who has a problem with that? Russ. Russ. He's the only one. And what I had a problem with was... <laughs> the Thunder are so young, Derek Favors is their only 30-year-old player. Right. I wanted somebody to get back in Russ's face, and Dort sort of did, but but I wanted somebody to jump in his face and say, no, you don't do this. Right, exactly. Because that was just fine. Yeah. Okay, so help me out with unwritten rules, old-school rules, Russell Westbrook. <laughs> do you remember what happened early in the game against Phoenix last Friday night at Staples Center? Yeah. They're down five to nothing. Could oh. we see this, please? The Lakers are down five to nothing and Russ shoots an awkward sort of weird jumper and it goes in mm -hmm. and he rocks the baby uh -huh. on Devin Booker 
Devin Booker obviously played in the finals last year. Yes. He was an MVP candidate. He made the Olympic team, obviously, and right. was a contributor to the Olympic right. team's yeah. gold medal. Right. Yes. And, and you're rocking the baby yeah. on Devin Booker yeah. to make the score five for Phoenix to two for the Lakers, and you're already rocking the baby on him? Wouldn't that break somebody's unwritten rule? Right. Because Phoenix was not happy with that because later Devin rocked it right. on the Lakers, right? Skip, here's the thing. It's just that Russell Westbrook is the wrong harbinger for this mm -hmm. message about stat padding. Mm -hmm. You? Yeah. Bruh, nobody has done more than you to pad your stat to make sure you get a triple-double. Nobody in history In history. And you, man, because this young man, he's 20, you said he's 21. He yeah, got a 21. dunk. He got two extra points. Yep. So now instead of having, he ended up with 20. So <laughs> instead of having 18, he got 20, and you mad. And, and it was like a joyful dunk. Like man. we did, that. we pulled it off. We, we kept dodging those bullets. They had their chances. They had three threes, Lord, like good looks at it, to tie the game, and he's just happy. Yeah. It's a happy dunk. Even if he wasn't. Yeah. What you worried about what I do on my team? You had a 26-point lead. You, you helped lead to the demise of your own team the, uh, uh, for us to come back. Now you mad. What he was, Skip, he was hurt. They had a 26-point lead. And now you're going to leave the court with an L. That's what he's upset about. I ain't, Skip, I ain't never been mad about somebody. Uh, we had a big if we had a big lead, and all of a sudden they're still throwing the ball. That, it's not my job to coach that team. It's not my job to tell them to take a knee. Man, y'all done got us down. Okay, that's enough. They've had enough. No, no, pile it on. Because I best, best believe when I get a chance to get your ass back, guess yep. what? I might run it up. Let's up, up the count. That's one thing I love about playing the Raiders because I know Mike wasn't going to call the dogs off. So we were trying to beat the brakes off him. Man, Russ, man, miss me with that. Man, what up? Skip, where all these written rules come from? Uh, I need something down. Mm. Okay, I get it, Skip. No blind side block. Back then, when I played, you could blind side block. That's a rule. Yep. It's in the rule book. But you need to show me something that if I got a five point lead and I get a breakaway dunk, I'm supposed to dribble out the clock like I'm Curly Neal mm -hmm. or Middle Lock Limbers. Yep. I wish I might. I'm getting, me a, I'm getting a cheap bucket. I got it. So to your point, remember, Russell Westbrook went back last night to Oklahoma City where it all started for him, where for a lo the longest time he felt like he was stuck, especially right. after Kevin left to, to go to Golden right. State. So Russ goes back, hail the conquering hero. I'm back to show you that I finally made it. Right. I'm now in purple and what I call fool's gold, right? <laughs> he's purple yeah. and fool's gold, right. but he's wearing purple and gold. Yes. I'm now the starting point guard for the team I grew up loving, the team that I dreamed of playing for, and I'm going to show you folks here back in little old Oklahoma City, look who I am, look what I have now right. become. Right. And this happened. He got his triple-double with one more that made it a quadruple, 10 turnovers. Yes. So he was ultimately embarrassed. Mm -hmm. He was to the point of being humiliated. Yes. Because all those fans left the arena last night thinking, we don't miss that. Of course. Because that's the guy right. that we struggle with. They loved him. They did love yeah. him. Trust me. And I saw a lot of Russ jerseys in the stand. I saw a lot of Thunder fans right. wearing that jersey right. in the stand. Skip, here's the thing. You can play hard, but give me a guy that plays smart. Yep. And, well, that, see, those, so, and, and hey, sometimes hey, people, they're that's, not, that's they're not the same. That's an oxymoron with Russ. They, yeah. They're not the same no. thing. Mm -mm. And so that's what Russ needs to understand. You would think, man... I know I'm having individual success, but at this point in time, I'm in a team sport. I need teams. I need team success. Yeah. He got okay. mad. And I, I skip, I'm looking. I'm like, you know, don't do that. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I said, get, and I said, guess what? Try to get another inbound pass because there was still time on the clock. <laughs> I'm going to try to steal that one too. I'm gonna, and guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to shoot me a logo. I'm going to get me a Steph Curry or Dame Lillard in okay. that thing. I'm going to shoot All a right. logo on you. And then what you going to do? What are you going to do? Wolf, don't do that. I'm old school. I'm doing, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, whatever. So in the end, as highly respected as Russ is by his peers, the other stars in the league, that was classless to me. Yeah. To go after That's a little old dude. He's been 21 years old. Okay. Come on. That's just hot-headed Russ just losing his cool, losing his temper, losing his poise. Right. And taking it out on Baisley. And... For all the tough guy 
persona that he displays on the court. I don't know that Russ is a tough guy. I mean, do you think deep down, if push came to shove, would, would he really push and shove back? Well, I, if, I, sure. if I'm based, I'd have had to see. I yeah. think, guess what? I'm going to do it again. Yeah. And all this, every time you turn around, he either rocking a baby or he doing it. Oh, he too small. He, he too small. We don't be doing Don't do that. I mean, I'm going to say, Russ, don't do that. Don't do that. Well, just tell Russ, I'm old school. Well, yeah, that's, yeah, we that's, don't do that. We don't break yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, Magic, Magic them didn't do that. They didn't Jordan do them didn't do that. Bird did. them didn't do that. That's old school. Don't that's do old that. School. Yep. So let's say, if we're going to be old school, we're going to be all the way old school. Mm -hmm. We ain't going to be just old school when you want to be old school. Yep. Man, I, ooh. It was a bad look after an all-time bad game by Russell Westbrook. <laughs> Lord, I would, man, I wish somebody would. We done, got the lead. we done came from behind and we got the lead. And you're talking about you can't do that. Yeah, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. Mm. I'm the victor. Mm. I'm going to do whatever. I'm going to dance, do whatever. And what? Get off the field. It's our time to celebrate. We're going to see who the uh, the killer whale? Shamu. Mm. I see. We're going to see Shamu. <laughs> okay. As a matter of fact, I got a, they sent me a big old Shamu dog, uh, Jenny. Really? I said, I'm going to see Shamu. <laughs> Run it on alone. Run it on alone, Steeler. They sent you a doll? Yeah, they sent me a doll. A Shamu doll? Yeah, big old, big The killer whale. You remember the killer whale? Yes. Because yeah. the first, the, our first Super Bowl was in San Diego. Okay. And so that was an uh, experience. Oh, then, back then they back sent then, you a doll. Yeah, they said, yeah, okay. we went to the Super Yeah, they heard me say, I said, I did Shamu. Uh -huh. We going to see Shamu. I don't know where y'all going, Steeler. Do you still have the doll? Yeah, I still got it. it. Okay. I still really? got it. Who knew? Yeah, I still got old Shamu. Uh, he like go, to... they want to fight. Now, they want to push and shove, bro. I, I, all of that is not necessary. Could you bring that in one day, Shannon? I'd also my, like to see I think it's at my grandma house. Okay. <laughs> Let us know. Uh, well, we're sticking with the Lakers theme. Is last night proof that the Lakers fans actually do need to worry about when LeBron can come back what, from his what, ankle what, injury? What is going what on? Is, what is going, going on, on You know what's going on.